Hi guys, today we will learn how you can set up your PHP environment and we will be using Eclipse for our IDE and we will be using the PHP 7.2 server. To download Eclipse for PHP, you need to go to eclipse.org and you need to download the e Eclipse for PHP. Or you can simply go to Google search engine and type that I want to download Eclipse PHP download. This will going to take you to this site. Here you will find Eclipse download for PHP in, for all of these different operating systems. Currently I'm using Windows operating system, so I will install something about Windows, something related to Windows. So I'll be using Windows 64-bit because my operating system is Windows 64-bit. Once I download this Eclipse onto my local computer, it's a zip file, I can extract it if it's an executable file. Either way, I download my Eclipse. When I download my Eclipse, I get an Eclipse for PHP folder. Similarly, I go to php.net slash downloads.php page. And this is where I can find the current stable PHP 7.2.1 version. This is where it has several different formats available to me. I will be downloading the Windows downloads. So I click on it and it downloads for me the executable file. As a result, I get two separate folders which I'm going to be needing for this download. So one folder I have is Eclipse folder. The other folder I get is the PHP 7.2 folder. So I double click on the Eclipse folder and then I launch Eclipse. Eclipse Oxygen is what basically I have downloaded. This is Eclipse for PHP. I set up my uh, workspace, I launch Eclipse, and the Eclipse environment fires up. Once the Eclipse environment fires up, I need to create a PHP project. I'll allow access. So, and then I will going to configure my server. You may see some warnings or error messages in the process, but the end result would be that you will end up with this PHP environment. So we're going to click on File, New, PHP Project. You can give your project a name of your choice. Once you click here, you can say, I'm, I'm calling this one PHP Test Project. And I'm hitting Finish. So that creates my PHP Test Project. After that, I will going to create a PHP page which I will use as a point of reference to set up my server, just so that you can see the progression of setting up the server. So I cl click on the PHP file, and one requirement that we have over here is that all the PHP pages must be given a file name .php. So I'm going to call this one my test page .php. Hit finish. In PHP, we use these scriptlets to write our PHP code. And I could use print or I could use echo. Hello from PHP. So that creates my first PHP statement. Hello world from PHP kind of a script. Now I can right click on my PHP and I can say I would like to run it as on server. Okay. Now it says, well, I can't really find a server. Can you please find a server for me? So I go down in the list and I say, I want a PHP built-in server. Okay, next. Then it says, where, where can I find the executable file for the PHP? So this is where I need that PHP 7.2 folder. I will going to click on Install PHP button. Install PHP button. After that, it gives me this window where I click on Add. After this, I need to browse that PHP 7.2 folder that I created on my desktop. In this folder, I should be able to find my PHP application file. This is my executable file for PHP. I open this. The moment I open it, it fills up the rest of the details for me. Do not need to worry about anything else. When you hit next, this is where you can choose your debugger. I'm choosing the Zend debugger from the list and you hit finish and your PHP server is now configured at least to the Eclipse environment apply and close and then you simply hit either next 
are finished right away. It doesn't really matter. So, here is my Eclipse server. As you can see, it is giving me a little warning here. This is what I was warning you earlier, because I also have IIS running on this machine, and IIS is running on port 80. So PHP server, when it tries to run itself, it says, well, the port is not available because somebody else is already using that port. So now I need to change its port number. So let's click OK. No need to worry about it. At least this is where our servers are. This is my server is. And the server actually has a server.xml file. You can double click to open it. And it will going to give you an option of port. And this is where the port number is. Right now it is port 80. If you think that you may be running another server on port 8080, a lot of the people do. Uh, let me give it a port 8081. Okay, just, just come up with a random number. Usually we go in thousands. Okay, so port 8081. I press enter. You can see you can see that the port 8081 has been recorded in the XML file. We see a little asterisk here. That means the file has not yet been saved. It needs to be saved. You click the save button. And now you close the XML document. Now let's try to run our PHP page. Let's right click on it. And let's go to run as, run on server. This is my PHP server. I'll say I want to start it, finish. And it is running in the background. And voila, here you go. We have been able to successfully launch our first PHP page. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Catch you in the next tutorials where we learn how to program in PHP.